What's up, what's up guys? I'm out at the Wensland and uh, we are on our way to Lanasia guys. You guys asked and we answered. <laughs> so uh, in that um, previous video we did of that Slam Sunday, uh, there was that blue Corolla there and that thing was built by a shop called uh, Stan's Daily GP. So we headed out to Lanasia to go and check out that blue Corolla and some of the other cars that they've built as well. So um, if you guys want to see what's happening with that car and uh, how you can get your Corolla looking like that, what should they do bro? Well obviously they should know by now, follow us all the way. <laughs> follow us and stay tuned guys. Please do subscribe and share and like this video. You know the procedure, guys. And remember, we're doing this for you guys because, I mean, if you look at the comments on YouTube, everybody wanted to see this uh, blue Corolla. So, well, we're going to deliver. <laughs> there we go. So uh, we finally pulled up here to the Daily Stance GP workshop. It's out in Lanasia. As you can see, quite a few cars out here. We got the rocks. We got that polo. I'm sure you guys also saw it in that video. I'm 100% sure she's also on air. And then uh, the blue polo. That one's got new wheels on today, guys. Blue Polo also on eh? We got the roller. These, yes. So these wheels, no, yeah. are quite nice, eh? So these are Renault faces, but split, like you know, uh, the wheel the pedals well. So yeah, these yeah. Are Back even more so in the front. Yes, that is so nice. It, it looks like a, a like a steely. It is a steely, <laughs> actually. You can see it's a steely, but yes, it's so nice. Eh? Wow, and then it's still got a dish on it as well. Whose car is this? Uh, where are the owners of the cars? Eh? <laughs> We like the steelies on the car, right? Thank you, bro. Uh, come educate us. What he says, it's a Renault barrel. Renault barrel. Uh, yeah. Biden. Yeah. 7.5J in the front. Yeah. 8.8J in the rear. 8J in the rear. Quite nice there, eh? Okay. A very different look there. And then it's um, what something's also definitely <laughs> something's definitely been changed here because I obviously own a Toyota and Toyotas have studs. Stud, yes, I so, have. So uh, did stud, that start yeah, break stud off there? Eh? Yeah, yes. Okay. The lock nut was on that start, so it was about. Yeah, that's yeah, look nice and it's still got that yeah, stretch yeah, yeah, look. Are you running coilers then? No? Static, yeah. Static yeah, coilovers. Uh, mixed out in the front and about three or four fingers go to go in the back. Also 160, no? 160, yeah. 160 I, I, GLE. 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 Jap car, you know, got a, got a rip. Caster looks dope, clean on the inside. You know, this is uh, this is uh, Enslin had one of his. Someone bumped him and the car was written off, but uh, yeah, ne. and it wasn't even his fault. <laughs> That's a sad part. All, like, well, all the damages that's on the car currently is all. That's also something you did then, no? because yeah, no, the face, I took the face off just for a different look. Okay. 
It gives you that kind of chap look, you know, that import look. Nah, that one is like. Uh, let us know in the comment section. Uh, let us know what you think about this wheel, as well as some of the mods that is made on the car. Quite a lovely look, uh, steely guys. Did you do all the work on this, on the wheel yourself? You got the wheel like this. So yeah, no, he, he didn't do it himself, but still a lovely wheel, guys. Check that look there. A steely no amount. Yeah, no. Where can the O's follow you? Uh, on Instagram yeah. at 5AFU, so and on Facebook, Surfer RSAU. Okay, you will got it there, guys. You see the daily stands, sticker is featuring on the back there. All the Owens chilling, it's a Sunday. All the guys brought their cars out. We see a lot of cars. Let's check what's happening in the golf engine, but if the bonnet's off, huh? <laughs> huh? The bonnet is off here, yeah. so what's the what's what's the plan with this one? <laughs> so this one here we plan to make it square light. Yeah. Just having some issues with the uh, parts. So reason being also we need a new bonnet for this one. We had bonnet we had was uh, aftermarket one. Okay. So we'd like an OEM bonnet. To complete the whole look, it will be a plan for us building this car. For so next it's year gonna first. have like basically like a fox look. Basically, this will be our car for next year fest that we are building. But for now, it's just a progress that we make every day. Just something small here and there we do. A uh, 1.6 car, or yeah, but that soon will be coming up. And what you gonna do? Uh, obviously, injection. Maybe we try MP9. See how that works out. MP9. Yeah, MP9 can always work. Injection, you know that thing. It's reliable. It's reliable. That's the main thing. I went from injection now to the beetle. It's rough. Or it's rough. <laughs> it's rough. And then you say you you so, have it for yeah, campus. Yeah, campus. So everything you see here will be changed. At least our Except the dash. The, the dash, dash is, is quite nice. It's crackle. Nice. It's crackle. <laughs> so that's a good. That's thing. a very nice huh? dash. You're getting this one ready for campus. Yeah, for campus. Okay. Yeah, this could be a decent one to check yeah, out, eh? Yeah. And then we got another goal. That's good. Nice interior, yeah. Looks like the suede, you know. Suede interior. And do you guys have people who do interiors as yeah, well? We do have people that do interiors. Uh, so this door panel is also something crazy. These are wooden floors. Wooden floors. Wooden floors. And check here. Yeah, on oh, the. Oh, oh, you oh, see? Oh, okay, now I see. Do you see what they did here, guys? They used laminated floors as a door panel. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, why? There we go. But it looks neat. It's lovely that day. Eh? It's different. It's something, you know. It's unique. It's something you haven't seen. Don't be surprised if you see people copying it. Because <laughs> yeah, now they're gonna see it here, yeah? they're gonna be like, ah. Yeah, Lovely wooden steering wheel as well. Car's nice and clean on the inside. He's got that uh, rough skin dash as well. So I obviously, I can appreciate the golfing. I like that as well, I've got that on my car. So the kids bags, you know, I, I, you don't have to lift the board the whole time, you see guys. And then he's got um, my, I can appreciate that too, I'm a Rockford guy myself, that I can tell you. So that you got a P2 there, it's a 10 inch, no? I can bet you that thing more. No? The I had a 12 inch before, I took it out. <laughs> yeah, no. the Owens probably think that you got bigger sound. Yeah, no? definitely. And then uh, this wooden look, it is at your theme for the whole car, to have that wooden look. So uh, that little enclosure there is to cover up your amps and stuff. Yeah, and uh, now the amps actually behind. 
Okay. That's why I just wrapped up my wings and on my chair. Okay. And then um, I see you got the soy on the interior. Eh? You don't have any kids, no? Because no. <laughs> for me, I, I wouldn't, because my kids would mess that <laughs> up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then um, I can appreciate a few other things. This wheel is also lovely. It's You're running big. static here, no? Definitely. And then uh, you got the wooden steering wheel there that you got running. The dash as well, that's a rough skin dash there, no? So, uh, did you get the car like this or is it? You got it like this. There is a lot of work that did go into the car there with the dash, everything looks good. The door panels, you did it yourself. And what gave you the idea to go with the wooden door panels? So, we are actually uh, redoing our cars in the house. Yeah. And um, this was off cuts. So, I decided let me try something. And I tried it, I cut it out. First time didn't work, tried it again. Cut it out, put silicone, I see it looks better. Then I got a hose for the speakers, the door handles, and it just stick. I, I like the way it looks. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad at all, guys. Let us know in the comment section what you guys think. I'm sure some of you guys are probably going to copy the look. You see there again, the Daily Stun sticker. That's where we at today. We are uh, just showing you guys what the shop can do. And we are to see the car you guys asked us to see. This thing was, was not uh, as low as it was earlier. Just now it was high, so we're also running air. Uh, plus it's talking more slacker there. Check it out, bro. Yesty. What do you think? What size is this wheel? 18 inch, just us. Is this also air done by daily stunts? Uh, no, actually, this was before we actually started our business, but then we did our touch ups for the one family. Oh, so we okay. did our lens masala in. Yeah, nah, I like the way it's talking, it's looking dope. Yo. And in the tires, to get that tuck. Uh, 215.35 215.35 and it doesn't give you issues? Uh, no, we, that's how we want to go a bit smaller So we want to okay. try and put 195.35 Or 165.48 if, if we can get him, yeah we can And um, air system that you're running? Uh, this is gated, double bellows all round, shortened struts, drop plates, C-notch both sides Hey, I wanna zoom be part of a screw also. <laughs> oh, one time, huh? We, we, we part of a daily stand screw. <laughs> many times, many times. Many eh. So, um, what your setup? Do you, oh, you still have your spare wheel underneath? Yes, there. it's still spare wheel, everything is still there. So, traveling is not an issue at all. Luggage space, we do have at least for one or two kit bags, but. We don't really care about the clothing for now. As long and as our I cars see make uh, it to the place. <laughs> I mean, your pipes. Also look yeah, like so they've been pipes, done. Pipes have been done. Yeah, I can start it for you. Let's uh, see what she sounds like. So this is a Golf 6 GTI. GTI. Okay. You've got there. What do you have in the bonnet? Let's check the bonnet Golf before you are heavy. Let's see if we, uh, if it's clean firstly. <laughs> Not so bad. Okay, but you got like a young induction kit with your downpipe. And who did your downpipe? Some internals. Uh, this was done in Gorica actually. Okay, so you got it like this. Nobody give us this upgrade uh, software that does it. And uh, who's your trusted software person? Uh, for now, I don't know, we're still playing with us. And like I say, we're still busy in the process. So it is overfueling currently. Okay. So it, there is a bit of an overfuel on it. But that will be sorted out soon before Jeff was German. Uh, as well as the mud valve race day that there is on the, the lens. of May. Uh, yes, the, the one lens are... is hosting, yes. Yeah. So we would actually like to get it done before then so we can actually hit maybe one or two runs. No, we definitely want to be there. We want to see what racing cars lens is. We'd like you to pull through, guys. Yeah, and Enslin sent me that one. He wants to be there. Really appreciate it, guys. We'll put through. So then, 
You say double bellows at the back front is? Double bellows in front and is as yeah. well. Short and struts as well. Okay, so the uh, car, even when it's P7. up, it's low basically. Yeah, so you have basically, with a P7, we have five settings that you okay. can choose. So, number five, that would put it on number five. Okay. And this would be four, three, two, four. Okay. And then the system also has like the ability to learn. Yes, yeah, so it picks up while you're driving, it adjusts on its own while you're driving. So if you come into a bend, perhaps you may be taking a bend at a speed, the car would actually lean to one side. So the bag okay. will pick up on its own with sensors, drops the other side as well. So it keeps stable throughout the entire bend. Okay. That's so a lovely it's a bit system. Expensive. It's a bit expensive, but worth yeah. it on a car that actually has power. Yeah, you know, I, we, uh, we, we, we're not that rich. We run the airlocks if we must. <laughs> No, uh, like nothing wrong with all Louis. We appreciate Louis. Yes, definitely, Louis. definitely. So, um, you wanna rev it there for us? Let's get our guys to hear what it sounds like. Tell us what you think about the exhaust, guys. sorts of uh, pops and bangs when you're starting rounds here in, in lens <laughs> now uh, do make a noise. <laughs> so um, we're moving down the line we're moving down the line we leave the Corolla for last now. Uh. <laughs> so so which one next Ensler the one that was dancing or the golf the polo <laughs> The Polo, this Papa Smurf made it as the first video, uh, the first car in the video. Uh. <laughs> you, I, you, you the one, you the one that told me about Daily Stance GP. Yeah, for sure. You the one that, that, that got through to me. And that's why I put this car, because there's another thing left. Make it up for us, man. Make it up. Make it up for you. You know that uh, South Africa has a love for Polo, that I can tell you. So that's quite nice. Eh? What system you running? Eh? I'm running Alux uh, system with uh, smart management. It's not Alux management, so it's just a normal smart. So management. is that uh, the basic Alux system? Yeah, it's not an expensive system. It's a basic system. And then uh, you just add that smart management to give it that ability it, to yeah, do to that. So that's my probably just letting the air out at different stages yes, it's, from it's the solenoid. No? It's basically pulling air and air and air out at the same okay. time. So it's putting pressure in. The air, putting pressure. And then you got uh, two compressors there? Eh? I got no boot setup as yet. Uh, I'm still busy with no it. No setup for, yet. No boot setup. So no boot, boot setup as yet. It's as raw as it gets. Basic, basic. It's just in the boot. Yeah, but there's nothing the wrong with that. We, Need to get there, obviously. Yeah, we're gonna get there. It's, uh, yeah, it's no. actually by German first champ. It should have a good setup. Like no, but that's how it goes. You can't do everything at once. And yeah, that's what the sure. Owens must learn. We enjoy working on the cars and just keep doing every time there's something and there's more to it. Like yeah, no, and it's expensive. I was speaking with the uh, Phantom Call 7 r and you were yeah. saying to us in a previous episode that. Uh, you think you can do it all at once, but you can't. It's a learning. The more you do, you, you learn more. You know, you understand uh, the system better. So, um, what makes it the smart management? Is it a chip on the, it's on the management system? No, no, no. It's its own management, like Airlock said, it's own management, yeah, okay. like P7, it's own management. So yes, yes, yes. I think it's just an option the smart management has. Okay, okay. And then who did the setup for you? I did it myself. You did it yourself? Everything I did myself. So uh, you are part of the daily stunts? I'm part stands. of the daily stunts. Do work you with do them. the S? What them? Yeah. What because them. obviously you said that there's uh, each guy has a job. Uh, it's like me, Tyrese, Suri, Shaga. There's a few of us. We all 
we like a big family. We love to do this. This is what we do. So you, uh, which are like us and what, what are you qualified to do? You a mechanic, so you a painter. Uh, yeah, I used to own a footman center in Elberton, tires, wheel alignment, pallets. Okay, and, okay. But, uh, the place wasn't doing too well, so we had to close down there. Okay. But um, equipment is still available. And you still yeah, I love um, cars, I love tires, I love rims, I love it all. The old science yeah. behind it, the suspension as well. The baby steps are good to have, you know, you learn and you, you grow from there. So I see yours is a manual there. What motor does the manual come It's on? just a normal 1.2 TSI. 1.2 TSI with TSI. manual. And then uh, I see your exhaust has also been modified there. What do you have? Is it just your tailpipe or is it a downpipe? No, that's his factory. Nothing. Is that a factory? Yeah, the factory nothing. exhaust. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Sure, right? and, then, and then um future plans future plans um more on the ball on the paint just polishing and uh, rims rims you know oh, but you had a different wheel last week i had week. rs 800 the bbs yeah no Those you ones got are another two one now yeah, these ones are tcrs they call seven tcrs they were yeah. black before i changed the color okay no yeah. that's quite I nice i, I haven't like seen those wheel yeah. before eh? honestly so um the RS800s, we're going to put lumps on and then play from there. We just like the rums and play. So you keep changing. Yeah. Build up your collection. At least. So you can also have wheels on both sides. Yeah, you know, <laughs> both, both uh, sides. And um, to you, brother, I like your channel, bro. I enjoy watching your channel, bro. And I thank you so much. Channel, thank you so much. Yeah, bro. Now, now you finally get to be featured. Yeah, for sure, oh, bro. Yeah, one time, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's now the ones get right. to see all the work you yeah, do. I can't wait to watch cars. the video when I get there. When yeah, I see man. the video, I'm say, hey, babes, come see ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm on skid yeah, marks. For sure, bro. <laughs> I'm a big fan to you, bro. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Now, that's why, that's why you told me more that day that you were a fan. And that's why I, I featured your car. Yeah, for sure. And I somehow put it first but, in the video. I, I was like, <laughs> yes, kid Mark's buddy. I went in and I was like, I was waiting to see my buddy, my car. And then, boom, it's the first one. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh lot of ones had to watch a whole video. You, you, you would want to see it first. Yeah, One thanks, time. Bro. One time. Yeah, but we really appreciate the kind of thing that. Yeah, we got another two babies over there. This is what we do on the weekend. We like Chill to with our Yeah, we, we call this Dominic Trainer's house. Yeah. No, it's it's a it's a lekker chill guys. You see there's a lot of nice cars here. Daily stunts, GPS, that is hand on all of them. Uh, if you guys are involved in the in the team, put your hands up. Huh? You see, all the ones, they involved in the team, you see. This is fast and furious lens, guys. So, Enslin is nearing me. He wants to see the E30. He wants to see the E30. The E30 has a for the Baba. <laughs> Check this out guys. So um this is another first day. Eh? This is our garage queen. <laughs> so this we all know that this top clips off and if you want your roof open you obviously need to take this off and you leave this piece at home in the garage. There is a way for it to slide in the top of the boot, but I usually the owners just leave it at home. But this is the first time that I have seen one with a panoramic duck in. So he just took um, some plexiglass. No, yeah, is this, so this is real glass. This is real glass, not this even plexiglass. So and uh, it's got some rubber seals on the edge, which have probably been sewed into this canvas here to give it that look and effect. And that's probably just to give it a sunroof feel. So you don't have to take the top off for it to feel like it's open. 
So uh, this is also a lovely wheel we got on there. Eh? BBS. I I honestly don't know. I haven't seen this one before. So we waited for this wheel to come in. Okay, it is a wrap, but the original is on. They don't make the original faces. Okay. You have to buy a second hand face to put the dish on. So these ones, I think, we really good as well. That's a lovely wheel on there, guys. So oh. everything you see here, like the side markers, uh, if you look at the front, the wipers. It's also got it there. It's got the side marker there, the wipers in the front. Okay. All of these we did in-house. So for that, you're obviously buying the whole grill, everything for those wipers, no? We do the thing. <laughs> we do the thing. And these <laughs> all imported parts? All or? imported. So side markers and the wipers are all imported parts. And then that lip is the M3 lip there, is it not? Or similar to the M3 lip, yeah? M3 and that also imported. It's a Riga lip. That's okay. what it's called. Eh? Riga lip. Riga. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Riga so and if you look at this engine, but you can eat off it. I would be proud to say that. Let's, let, let's check it out. Ooh, that's lovely. Yeah, you could really eat off this engine, bay. Check the color coding there, guys. So the blue, it's got a blue interior, so we can see where that blue came from. Engine bay is matching the interior, and then it's got the German colors there with the red and the, and the yellow and black. Did you guys also uh, work on the engine bay, color coding so it? color coding, these are powder coated, so these obviously have to send out to be powder coated. Okay. Like that. And the wrapping we did in house, me and him, the owner of the car, we did most of the wrapping. And then um, we can obviously see this thing is fresh because it's got a standard airflow meter here. So that means that the car hasn't been fiddled on too much. It's, uh, it's got the manual there. Yeah. It's 2.8 as well. So you've modified that M20 2.8. So you got um, 2.8 internals there, although it's a M20. But uh, when you pulled in there, you didn't rev too much, so uh, it shows that you, you, you take care of your car. Definitely do. Where did you come up with this idea for this uh, glass on the, on the top piece? You just wanted a sunroof feel. You wanted a sunroof feel. And how often do you take your top off? Are you one of those ones that's always opening it up at the back? Most evening drives. Most evening. You know, yeah, it's not like stars. in a day now because yes, as the sun burns you. Huh? <laughs> Pipe on the car. Uh, so you got a branch and a free flow. How much more? Okay. Not bad. You guys can hear she sounds like the pipe is still nice and clean. Three to five. Woo! Yes, that's. She sounds more slacker. Yo! You can see there on the inside of the car. The dashboard has the chrome rims that have been um, added on and then some carbon fiber. Did you guys also wrap that there? Yeah, so this whole cluster was taken apart, everything redone, including these tiles here as well. This here and then a, a the orange coating. is not um, the original no. either, I so know this that. here outside is a gel coating. If you look okay. closely, you can see the shine of it. Okay. Yeah. And then here you guys also put oh, carbon right, fiber um, all the way there right, on the um, asterisk. Even though the boot of the the gear lever is carbon fiber. <laughs> yeah. yeah, carbon everywhere. <laughs> and then everything else uh, looks pretty much standard. That's what that roof looks like from the inside, guys. So um, it gives him the sunroof feel, as you heard. That's what he actually wanted. And it is one of a yell of a clean ones. Even the boot spoiler. Really nice there. Eh? You've got like everything that all the the BM guys want honestly but this wheel just because we haven't seen it Never. this is probably like the the first BM I'm seeing it on probably I'm 
I have not seen the wheel. Yeah, where did you get the wheel? Tell us about the wheel. Yeah, from um, this guy's name. Speedfoot. Yeah, Speedfoot. Yeah, Speedfoot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's one of those. It's still coming out. Really. Uh, it came out, but not a few. Not a lot of sets came into our country. Mm -hmm. The people that do have it are not willing to part of it. Is one of them. So I think uh, in our country, I think uh, or in Chowba, we could say there's a handful. I've seen myself about five sets. So, future plans, would you do A on this? No other plans for the time. No other plans. So no Possibly A some uh, post induction. <laughs> but, uh, Turbocharger on 2.8, there's nothing right. better there. So I can tell you that. This is about to embarrass not to do Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not low and slow. Yeah, this one is going fast. So, you actually drive it? Actually, more of my long distance vehicle. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, any other cars in your collection? Uh, STI. And that's it. Um, Focus or Nissan? Okay, Nissan Z, I love that one. <laughs> Nissan Sentra STI. 200 STI. 160 STI, actually. 160. Yeah. Okay. No, that's, that's like. Uh, they, they strong cars. It was a company had one. It was a company car. They sold it now because of the daily driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so upset they sold that car. That was the only car I liked at the company. <laughs> but uh, where can the Owens follow you if they want to see updates of the beer? Not on social media. Not on social media. No. So you'll only see the car here episodes. once and maybe on Daily Stan's GP page. But uh, guys, you never seen this car again. You only saw it here on skid marks. I'm telling you one time. <laughs> what next, bro? The polo for sure. So this car was also there last week. Yeah. I told you guys, I saw the, the, the air system on the boot there. So this is also air lux, no? Yes, this is also um, Do Do the air lux systems come with that, um, so that the water trap, get, oh, it's called a water trap, yeah, no? Water trap. So they come standard with that? Yes, you have to You have to have a water trap or else that water goes into your bags. And that, and that is, is... a big problem. You have to strip yeah. everything apart again just to get that water out. And also because uh, it's a metal tank, no? Metal tank, it so it rusts and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, upgraded indicators there, looking dope already. Uh, what sound you got? Because you were playing your sound the other day. Yeah, I got the uh, 212s Venoms. 212, that Targa Venoms. Yeah. And I know the sound was mooring there. Eh? Box configured to face upwards. So uh, you see, there's no space in the boot for the air system. <laughs> If you could, would you upgrade it and get a nice uh, setup where your tank is there with your subs and all that? Yeah, for German versus Japan, I am planning a custom boot setup and to change the interior. But so you're looking for like a fiberglass feel or yeah, something like that. And then interior-wise, what do you want to do? Leather or I'm still thinking about it. I haven't gotten there yet, but. Uh, I want to match it with something grey and a bit of red. Grey and red to match yeah. the paint. So similar to what it is now. Like a darkish grey. With some red in the middle perhaps. And then uh, you got a standard deck there or Android radio. Yeah, the Android radio. And then you got a, like a BBS there. Eh? Uh, you going more for the footment instead of for the tack. Um, tires you're running there? Um, 185 And how much J is this with? This is a 9J in the back and it's a 8.5 in the front. So it's tucking lacquer in the front and at the back we got the footman there. Stretch tires as well, it's your sitting tight and how long have you had the air in now? I only installed the air recently when I met the guys here I installed air and then yeah I kind of became part of the crew like that and uh, you also running an airlock system yeah? yeah okay. what is this the, the, the basic one or does it have the smart management as well? 
this is the latest management. Uh, it is up on its own when you start the car. It is so out when is up. yeah, that's all. It's out it, when you put it. Can it. Dent. Okay, so that's one can <laughs> Yeah. So um, that's lip also here. Yeah. This is a very popular lip now. There's a lot of owens that have been putting us lip on their pole. What can you tell us about this lip? Why did you choose this lip? Uh, I didn't want something too big and I never want something too small. I'm also gonna still put the original lip of the car back okay. and put this lip on there so it's more low. Okay. Yeah, so I'm still so when the car's it. aired out and the lip touches the floor basically. Yeah, yeah. So um, what car is a slip for? Huh? What car is a slip for? It's a normal 9 and 3, it's a Cupra lip. A Cupra lip? Yeah. Yeah, that looked like go with that look, eh? So if you Owens keep an eye out for this car, check out he's gonna do that mod on the lip. He wants it to touch a floor. He wants it to touch a floor when he has it out. Eh? And then uh, what's the smallest wheel you can put on? Uh I'm gonna go with a 15 in a smaller tire. This is more for daily use. Okay. This car and drum, so I'm gonna look for a more OEM with a smaller tire so that I can get a all-round duck as well and yours doesn't have shortened struts because I saw when it was high now it was high <laughs> yeah <laughs> no we don't have shortened struts is that something you do in the future yeah I'm gonna do the struts and all of it I have to do the shocks as well so, so uh yeah. where's the air suspension specialist yeah we were just having the chat now about the shortened struts and I'm sure my, my audience would also love to hear what does that shortened strut do for you when you have a suspension? So with the shortened strut, remember your shock height, right? Your shock is only going to go down as far as it can go. Yeah. So once you shorten the shock, that's what we mean on shortened struts. You shorten that height, you bring that whole height down. Which in turn is going to bring your body down. So a question I would like to ask then is that on a standard car that is lowered Does that mean that shortened struts are also beneficial? So if you have 40 so, mil Let's put it this way if you're using cut springs that's gonna be of no beneficial to you Okay, if you're using coilovers definitely it will work Okay, so shortened struts will assist you Because assist you. you know sometimes it's like when you hit a bump it's bottom, bottoming, bottoming out You, you can hear that, that knock yeah. So that's what comes into play as well because it gives you a bit of clearance. Okay. So I'd say they shorten it about say 20 miles a max. To go lower than that you start having problems where your drive shaft starts painting up. Okay. So when it points up you won't get any movement from it because it's now stuff on the nut. So Airlux offers that as a, a option I've seen. Shortened struts yeah, on some things. Struts, but it is only for, uh, how, how can I say, like per order. You, you don't find it on the shelf, you have to okay. order it for them to get it. So for you, that modifies these cars on a daily basis, how do you shorten the struts? Do you prefer to go to them? Or I prefer to go to them because it would be safer that way, your engineering, your welding, because think about it, these cars are driving on a daily basis. So these cars are going everywhere on a daily basis. So you don't want your welding to crack, you don't want any you know inconveniences when you're out on the road. And so uh, I'll say send it to the people who know what they do. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you could always send it to your own engineers, but obviously they work with it on a daily basis, yeah. so they know what they to know look it, out for definitely. and what issues to look out for, yeah, you know. So I don't have to go pay the school fees twice, you know what I'm saying? They already know what they're doing, so we'd rather supply them and let them do it. Exactly. You see, guys, daily stands GP. You must know. Follow them on TikTok, guys. They are there. That Ranex. You know to say yeah. Instagram, Instagram as, well. as well. Daily stance, cheapy. So uh, we're moving on to the golfy. We're moving on to the golfy first. I'm looking at this number plate for some reason it looks so familiar I don't know why city rocks you know hey, hey. these ones last number if you're looking from uh, other countries watching from other countries you'll know that in South Africa we got these dashboards 
it's similar to dashboards that came off the Skoda and that's where they got the look from it's an upgraded interior as well that's the same interior that's in the velocity and yeah no that uh, iconic steering wheel guys lots of guys use that there but obviously this one's had a few more mods as well we're definitely running air here yeah? and uh, we've ragged it so it's ragged and bagged guys ragged and bagged so um what was the first uh, mod that you did on the car when you got it the bags what system you running caster so that's got the caster airlift system bluetooth system after you did the the air then what was the next thing you went for wheels <laughs> wheels <laughs> And what you're running on the car. Obviously, this isn't your only set of wheels, but uh, tell us about the set you have on now. Uh, JS set 16s, running on 654 is all round. So, what's your favorite wheel for this car? Uh, so far, this one. So far, this one. <laughs> so far, this one. Is it getting uh, the look you want? Because we see it's stuck in there at the back. So, this one I would say is like period correct. It's okay. in the same area as where the car was last time. So, that gets it for us. And size wise, do you prefer 16, 17? 16 is your preferred. Even though the 16 tires still, eh? oh, they're not cheap. And then after you got your wheels, uh, when did you do the sunroof? Uh, the, the car came with the sunroof. It came with the sunroof, so that at least was done when you got it. And then the future mods, what do you plan to do with the car? I don't know, maybe change management. Management, so maybe a P7 or something so the car can also dance. A smart management system. That's the new thing. A lot of the guys are going for the smart look, the headlights and stuff that you got with the car. So that for the angel eye with the indicator. And uh, how long have you had it? Only two years now. Two years and it's uh, not fading, that's why I'm asking because I know most are to look out for and uh, say first things first you're gonna buy the one take a lot it's gonna start fading after two weeks guys you must buy a quality one so um why the indicators on for us let's see what your lights do there maybe there's a ones that wanna mod their lights they can bring it there to daily stance you see there guys he's got a daytime running light in there and it's got the indicator in there as well so uh if you guys want to know how to get that mod, hey, you are going to have to message Daily Stance GP and they'll tell you how to get it. In Daily Stance we trust. So uh, in your air, there you're running a uh, double tank system uh, or? Single tank. Single tank with um, two compressors or one? Just one for now. And in the sound there, you know, Rockford, my preferred brand. So you say that's on the daily stance, did they also do yeah, install, yeah? Install. And uh, did they influence you to do it? Bloming with them, yeah. seeing the air lifestyle, you like, I, I'm gonna also dala it one yeah, time. Yeah, all in the same area, we are together, so it's... So um, you you don't have plans for interior, nothing like that maybe at the moment. Change the interior for German Maybe, maybe. Nah, yeah, we'll look definitely. out for the car there for sure. Yes. Where can the guys follow you? Are you Instagram, on social media? Yes. On Instagram at Shakir, just like that. At Shakir, ah. what a K? What a K? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> thank you, my Audi. Check the young man is out there. He's also appreciating the cars. Eh? <laughs> Gotta love. So uh, we out in the workshop now, as you guys can see, all the tools uh, nicely organized here. Uh, sort of. <laughs> we've got uh, one of the customers' cars out there on a trestle. So. Uh, 
I see you guys got the welding machine, what not? Nice so MIG welding machine. So, so do you weld? Yeah, I weld. So we have a saying, yeah, if you can't find the right room, you're looking in the wrong place. Definitely, you're looking in the wrong place. Because if you open here, there's no shit. A whole lot of tools here. There's a whole lot of tools in that cupboard. And everything is nicely organized. Check it out, bro. Uh, we got the stuff in bottles here. Uh, all your different screws so you don't need to scratch and look for anything check how well that it is we got the bench here i'm sure this is where you sold it from for so sure definitely the small things. <laughs> so um you guys what services do you offer when it comes to the air suspension and so more than that from air suspension or let's say with regards to vehicles we service everything across the board from your engines to your suspension to your brakes you name it we do now we've started doing our air suspensions like i'd say about say five six months ago we started on a big scale before we just small here in there so we've tried now to build a partnership with the um and i know you know louise at edda uh -huh. so we've tried that partnership that partnership has worked out for us so to be building on that okay and then um aside from that uh you say mechanical would be your suspensions engine rebuilds is it to that extent as everything, well everything engine. so there is a block there that not being built it's just being swapped now okay this was from a honda b16 there's another block underneath there for uh toyota there's parts inside here for oh. so these are toyota parts these are Honda parts, there's the inside of a Corsa, that's the exhaust manifold, these are all spare piping, these are all wiring harnesses for ZZ Corolla, which is the one you know outside. Yeah. <laughs> it's more all parts for those things. So you said you are a qualified, qualified mechanic, mechanic, that's your trade. That's and then um, when it comes to air suspension, where did you start learning about that? It just started from... The love of being low, I guess that's where it started from. So we just wanted to go lower and lower and I guess I've grown up now, back is a bit so from all the years of mechanics, so now we just use buttons instead of coils. Yeah, and they had a coil over as well, Ralph <laughs> back then, man. but that <laughs> was how we all learned. It was how we learned, we just set up with just <laughs> So um, all the ones outside, obviously, um, yeah. Did you build the cars there? Did you ever so hand in the car? one of those cars I did something on there. Well, we'd say most of them I did the suspension on there. Okay. Uh, there's only a few of them that I haven't, but as far as the vehicle's maintenance, it came to me always. And the Corolla is yours? The Corolla is mine. That was my project from start to finish. So tell us where you came up with that madness. So that started off, i say in the trick I got that car. It was my first car I ever bought, so paid off i never really chose to sold it here yeah, other cars things like that then i decided one day let me just fix it up make it look neat and i tried buying i think it was a headlight so the headlight part made me go to a running so i went to the spare shop he had left and right you know you have left and right he had only right i was like no man this can't work because i need it to be done now because the spray paint needs to come you know time limits we don't have so much time to play with so he, he told me, you know what, I have Ranex headlights. Why don't you do the facelift? I'm like, you know what you mean? Why don't I do the face? It's not going to work. It's like, try it. So he was good enough to give me the whole set of the front of the car to put it on to see if I like it. I liked it, and that's where we've been. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> that is to get it to that point. I actually will go it, and have to, we'll, we will go and have a look at the car closer. So to get it to that point, that's 13 years of work. Yeah, no, definitely, because I can imagine, and and we'll we'll speak to the audience about it when we look at the car, that that was not just a, a easy lift. In my mind, I would think that you'd obviously need that whole cradle to be changed, right? Well, not exactly. If you know what you're doing, you can make a plan. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so that's definitely one not we look forward to. Right? <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, I mean, so uh, was so out to the blue Corolla, like everybody wants to be seen. So yeah, that's where the magic happens, everybody. Yeah, that's where that really was made. I'd love to see this one when it's done. What it's gonna look like? I mean, I was two weeks done. 
it should be done. I'm just waiting for a gearbox. There's a DSG problem on the gearbox here. Yeah. Okay. So it's always an issue with these gearboxes, right? Eh? It's a problem. It's a big problem. So as soon as he's sorted out, but check it out, guys. Know. Fantastic. You saw it here. There we go, guys. This is the one all of you guys been asking for. Uh, yes, that. They've been hailing, they've been <laughs> chunking, they just wanna see the Corolla. They wanna hear the, they wanna hear the insane story behind this. Cause there's gotta be some insanity behind it, guys. So, um... Run X front on a Corolla. So, I'd have to say that obviously, fenders had to be changed, eh? Bonnet had to be changed, bumper had to be changed, lights had to be changed. <laughs> so that's pretty much the whole front end that needed to be changed to get that thing to work there. And then um, you say cradle didn't still need uh, any work on. So on the edges of a cradle your main objective was just to get your lights to fit. Or else the one light sits high and one light sits down. Okay. So you need to fit it with the bumper and then shave it out just so that edge piece can fit. Okay. So who did the panel beating? So the panel beating, I have a friend also here in Lens, check him out, Rolling Fats Customs. So he does most of the panel work and things. And then we do have a detailer also that does our detailing. He's around the corner, your R1 car wash. Okay. Check him out as well, very well. And as you see, car is never dirty. <laughs> and how many years has this modification been complete? So from start to finish, I would say it took me about two years because yes, engine was changed. It's a different engine. It's a one ZZFE that comes from Silica. Okay. But standard is EU and standard intake. So it does have some power. It's not lazy. Mm. Would you mind showing us the engine? <laughs> Let's just show our fans what engine we are referring to. So it's a Celica engine here. Yeah? 1.8 or 2 liter. So these cars came out in 1.8, so this is a 2 liter. Okay. So, uh, not much difference on the not look. Not much difference because it looks the similar, is yeah? still the 1800 intake. Okay, so you're still so using your standard the head, intake. The head and the block on this on the intake and on the exhaust is the same on the 1.8 and the 2 liter. So the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold is all the same. You can use them interchangeably. So it's not just a pretty face guys, the engine's being modded too, still using the standard ECU. We've got some fog lights there in the bumpers, I see you've done the carbon look there on the... So you guys like the carbon there? Eh? Yeah, we're trying to go to real carbon. Guys, just ignore the, 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 the gap there on the grill, but um, well, that was intentional, bird. no? That was a bird actually. I mean, the bird me. got stuck inside it, bro. I had to come home and pull the bird out. I, you know these birds, you must fly when you see a car coming. <laughs> so, uh, guys, he's got a two-faced look there today. The other day when you were at the show, did you have the same look? Uh, no, I only had these. You only had these? Yeah, no, I was thinking to myself, no, like, yes. Yeah, so did I not look at that side of the car or something? But check it out there. So, uh, timeless on both sides. Works, wheels. <laughs> Tell us which side is your favorite side, guys. Do you like the Rizek here on this side? Or do you like the, the Euro line on this side? Which one suits her better? Japan wants me back. <laughs> so you are running which air system here? Yeah? So this is an uh, Elux Bluetooth system. Elux Bluetooth system. So you guys uh, believe in Alux? You said you've developed a relationship with the guys at Alux or not? Yeah, he's a very good guy, never disappointed us on any of our things. Also, if we had a problem with it, we, he'd make a plan to swap it out same time. So, um, I see you still got a custom in the, uh, a standard interior there. Do you plan on doing? We do have plans for the interior very soon. Very, very soon. So you guys can see which year model based off the dash here and he's given it the newer look by adding the front end standard interior but he does plan to modify it I see two lumpets here in the back that 18 inch lumpets no? 
Ooh, and then check the spare wheel there, guys. Yeah, it's 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 <laughs> Is that a base box yes, drum yeah. type yeah, of a setup? Okay. So you got one compressor here. That I am changing this boot setup soon. So this was just for to bag the car. You know, I was in the back okay. of I wanted to see how it looked and things. How long has it been bagged now? It's even a month. <laughs> No, okay. Mind, yeah. No, I have seen the car on social media, so but the, 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 with the front end. The but mechanics car gets done last. Yeah, no, this is how it is. First and then the Customers cars first <laughs> before your own car. That's, it. That's, That's it. how it goes. And then the tank is mounted there out of the way. So if you still want to do a Woolworths run, you can Dalai Emu first. Start. <laughs> But this thing is like really dope. I can see why the guys wanted us to come out to see this car. Like it's something new, something original, something that hasn't been seen before. I'm sure this is like the first time. Probably a first for South Africa. Have any of you other guys seen this? Shoo! Shout. 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 Yeah, but everybody's cars are beautiful here today. Thank you. All the cars are like, uh, can see daily stunts been doing the things. Bluetooth system. Two face look today. Different wheels on both sides. So first, uh, before before we close the video off, you must first introduce us to Ola Owens. Tell us who does what for the shop. I wanna know. Okay, so myself, Tyrese, Justin, Rano, Justin, Shara, Rano. Muzi. So Muzi has a day job, so he's here on some certain days. Yeah. So these are your mechanic team. So these are going to do air suspensions, your maintenance on them, things like that. And then we also have a merchandise team, which is Sharan, uh, Tawa, them, and Aziz, Sway. And we also have them, that's, that's our merchandise team. That they sell our stickers, our t-shirts, then yeah, it's things like that. So, um, if I want so on t-shirts, stickers, anything, they can just message you on... DM on us on Instagram, we'll get back to you. One of our guys will definitely get back to you. That's at Daily at Stance, Daily Stance GP. GP. There we go, guys. I'll put it up here on the screen so you guys can know. But, yeah, see, guys, thank you so much for having us come out today, having a look at your beautiful rides. I mean, yes, it's, it's uh, definitely an honor for me to check it all out and to check the workshop out. Thank you for showing us where all the magic happens. We definitely appreciate it. I hope you guys like the, the Corolla and everything else that uh, Daily Stunts GP had their hands on. Uh, that BMW there, for that I would have asked me not to zoom, hey bro, sorry man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that BMW there at the back, definitely one of the mo most unique um, powers in Gauteng. I'm sure uh, you're gonna see someone's gonna copy it now guys. Somebody else is gonna have a glass top on that bow of this. Thank you so much for uh, having us out guys. Um, must definitely keep us updated if you have any new projects or anything that you guys are doing so that we can come out and check it out you know and in a couple of months time we're gonna come out check out how far they get on us on maybe when we come out again the golf will have eh? air <laughs> yeah and eh? We're not going to be going static oh, anymore. Yeah. We're tired of it. Life of back is so... <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it, guys. We just finished the shootout. The Owens are chilling. Peace out, chance. That was uh, quite a productive shoot, guys. Mm -hmm. You know, a uh, lovely crew they got going on there. Uh, they showed me an insulin the workshop as well and you know mm -hmm. there's a lot of magic coming out of a small workshop that's all i mean you see. guys seen the size of that workshop and, and they even called it eat the other time show to come and show us i mean to show you guys and they thought that's beautiful i don't think you've seen that bbs before but no, yeah that bbs first time in my life yeah. i saw that
But sadly, you're gonna see a lot more of it again, I'm sure. After this, for mm. sure. And that, 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 uh, that sunroof move. Yeah, no, that's something I have not seen before on a bower, but I'm sure a lot of people are gonna do it now that they've seen it. So, uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed our visit to the Daily Stance Workshop, please do like and subscribe and share this content with all your friends. Go and tell them all what you saw on Skid Marks today and what Daily Stance has been schooling us on today, guys. So, uh, thank you for watching another video. We are on our way to the stadium again. Um, Stan's Church is hosting an event called Scrape the Yard Volume 2 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gonna go and see if it's worth the 50 bucks entrance they're asking, guys. But that's gonna be in another video as usual. Yeah, <laughs> You're gonna have to wait and it. see if we actually <laughs> got in there, guys. But if it's worth it because they said the event starts at half past one. We got past the event at about, what time was it? Quarter past two. And, and it was no, two and nobody two there. Two so we're going to go and first see what's happening before we just see. What, we're going to see how they entertain us when we get there. Yeah, yeah, if there is actually people there. Yeah, no. <laughs> if you want to watch that, you're going to have to wait and see. But um, yeah, no, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Peace out. Yeah.